so now I'm, I've washed it from the developer, and you can see it's sort of a lighter color. Um, I'm gonna again let the water drip off of it and put it into the selenium, which is a toner, which is gonna cause a color shift. So this is my selenium here. The color shift is gonna take a little bit of time because this selenium, as you can see, is kind of grubby. Um, it's actually old. I've made already about 20 prints with it. Normally, I'm getting about um, maybe yeah, 25, so I don't have that much life. But you can start to see it's already moving away from that sort of lighter goldenish and starting to turn into a more black brown. I, uh, if the selenium were fresh, this would actually um, turn into the color that I want, like almost instantaneously within 10 seconds. But because the selenium is old, I have to move it around a little bit for a good couple of minutes. And um, I'm just uh, gonna be patient because eventually it will turn into the color that I want. And I want you to be able to detect that on the video. And you, you, I hope that what you're seeing is uh, uh, the change to a more grayish um, or more blackish brown. watercolor paper. Um, I really like the effect. I like the, um, the texture of the paper combined with the um, texture in the image. Um, I like the way that the chemistry holds um, uh, onto the paper or the paper holds the chemistry. I like these little, you know, as you can see here, the brush, um, sort of a dry brush stroke there with the uh, emulsion on the edge there makes, you know, gives some additional visual interest. As you can see, this is getting quite a bit more um, black, brown, more gray. I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit. And then once I've got the tone that I want, I'm gonna wash it again for a minute, and then I'm gonna put it into the fixer. And nothing really happens in the fixer. It's gonna stay there for like a minute, and then I'm gonna wash it again. So um, I won't make videos for those, but after it does the final wash, I will make one more video to show what it looks like coming out of the wash. Um, so here you can see it, it's really changed from that sort of goldenish brown. Um, now it's more like a sepia, uh, or even, it's, it's almost really like a darker gray color. So it's almost there. And uh, you can see how the mats or the, the solutions change color as you keep using them because the uh, chemistry is sort of leaching off and uh, I think that's pretty much how I want it. So just kind of coming close to see that color. All right, that's it.